Hello, this is the first in a series of presentations for A-Level Economics. This covers the Year 1 or the AS course for AQA. Um, this is the specification at starts um, and it's looking at economics as a social science. Now apart from this third specification objective here, looking at the difference between positive and normative statements, um, economics as a social science and similarities to and differences in methodology from natural and other sciences, these might have been at the beginning of textbooks in the past, but they certainly um, weren't really examined on and we don't really know at this point how they're going to be Examined. But I'll just give you an overview of what those things mean and I'll go into a little bit more detail when we're looking at positive and normative statements because those have been examined um, before and often come up as multiple choice questions. So social science is concerned, well, the word social suggests that it's concerned with people. And when we're looking at economics, we're looking at the interaction between the government, workers, firms, and consumers, how they interact with each other and the factors that can change those interactions. And we're looking at how firms in particular take factors of production and transform them into goods and services to earn rewards from those factors of production. And uh, the people that are producing them or one of the factors of production are workers or labour and um, it's usually the uh, reason for producing them are for sat the satisfaction of needs and wants by consumers um, but we can also see the government producing um, some of these goods and services and uh, we also see the government in uh, intervening in these markets to try and encourage or discourage the production of some of these goods and services. We also look at the demand and the supply of these um, goods and services in economics, as you will obviously know about studying this course, that's a big section, and the influences, so the influences that the government can have on the demand and supply, firms, consumers, workers. And um, this area, um, well, the whole of economics has some similarities um, to science. Um, I'll just flick back to that because um, we can set up experiments and we can observe how um, how certain factors can influence consumers, firms, workers, the government can influence the demand and the supply. Um, but also it has some dissimilarities um, to science in the way that sometimes we're making what we call normative statements. So I'll take you through positive and normative statements. A positive statement is the one that bears more resemblance to what you're looking at in science. So these are statements that can be tested. So we, we do look at, um, well, in science you'd call them experiments, but we do look at, in economics, we, we tend more to call them the theories or the principles. So X leads to Y. So we might have the law of demand where higher prices we'd say usually the majority of the time leads to a smaller quantity demanded than if the price was lower. Um, we could also have um, statements that have the word should in. Now, lots of students think if it has the word should in, it becomes a normative statement, but don't be misled by that. You have to really take the whole statement in um, context. So X should lead to Y. We can definitely test that. Um, and I, I think you'd, you could have a more definite um, statement there that 80% of the time or 93% of the time X will lead to Y um, but it's still a statement that can be tested so don't just kind of discount something as normative even if it has the word should in. So normative statements are statements of an opinion and they can't be tested so this is when we're making judgments really it involves a judgment so we're using the words maybe fairer or less fair or better or worse and these normative Normative statements are the ones that are um, an important part of economics, but they're less like science in terms of being able to test them and being able to establish principles and laws and patterns. Normative really depends upon your culture and where you're from and your values and what you think is important or not important. So all of these different factors can influence your culture uh, and your moral and ethical values and what you think is better and worse and fairer or less fair. Um, and then normative statements are the ones that can um, affect policy measures. Now, 
positive statements can affect policy measures as well. So um, we know, and when you look at the later parts of the course, when we're looking at indirect taxes, we know if you apply an indirect tax, most of the time, unless um, this indirect tax is applied to something that has elastic demand, perfect, sorry, perfectly elastic demand. Most of the time, if you apply an indirect tax to a product, um, you're going to see an increase in the price of that product. And then that's going to reduce the quantity demanded of the product. Um, so that is a positive statement um, because we know that we can test whether that happens or not. But the normative part of this could be about whether you believe that certain items should be um, should have an indirect tax placed on them because it would be beneficial for society to have less of them. So here we have a campaign from The Economist and they did quite a few of these. You can kind of Google this um, campaign and there, there's some really interesting debates. But um, these things here, these statements could uh, be tested. We can see um, it lots of um, positive statements there uh, on both sides of them but whether the side that you think is best really comes down to um, normative values and beliefs beliefs sorry so that's how it can affect government policy